Okay, folks, we have once again found it the absolutely most ugliest plane for the flight simulator. How about that? Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Add on Review, where we check out the most interesting and newest add ons you can buy for the new flight simulator, which isn't all that new anymore. I mean, it came out in August last year, and we've seen some interesting add ons indeed. Some bad ones and some good ones. The CRJ, for example, was very, very good. The 777, for example, recently was and all that that's sort of their story yeah it is just very nice to see all of those add-ons come out indeed and well we have got this one very new release from a company called Orbex, okay? Now, this is definitely some interesting news since Orbex, which is an Australian uh, designer, has only really been making scenery add-ons for the flight simulator. And this is now they're actually their first airplane. And they have gone with a very ugly one, the Edgley Optica. I'm just gonna say it like this. Yes, this plane does exist like this in real life. It's not only a weird Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 fantasy or anything. It is a real thing, scarily enough. And this is what it looks like. It's actually a British light aircraft. Craft. Top speed 213 kilometers per hour. A bird is faster than that, but that's one of the story. And this plane was made for observation work. So it may seem a little bit ironic that, you know, observing the plane itself isn't that good of an experience. You know, is it, is it, is it an insect? Yeah. No, <laughs> really, the design of this plane basically is uh, to, first of all, be a little bit more experimental, just be a little bit wowed, be a little bit out there. That's what the plane's trying to be. But no, also really, uh, just for the visibility's sake, you can literally see what's <laughs> below you, which is very much interesting uh, for a plane. And, you know, in order to have this kind of cockpit view that you only otherwise have in, like, a helicopter, you have to, of course, get rid of the engine that's, of course, normally in these kind of planes in front of cockpit, of course. And so they moved it into the middle of the fuselage, basically, which, I mean, does work. We can take it off. Now this is actually, uh, how much is this add-on plane? We shall do the review too. Okay, 23 Australian dollars. Yeah, this company is very uh, Australian. They are only naming the Australian prices. Okay, 15 euro. That's not all that bad. That's uh, what I would expect to pay for a, you know, a decent small plane. I mean, after all, the smaller the plane, of course, the less complex. Which is probably why the plane like the CRJ uh, costs 60 bucks because it's very, 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 very complex. But this one only has a few switches that do work. That's great to see. Let's actually go and take off. Damn. Oh, man. this flying this plane is quite interesting. And this plane actually isn't all that slow as I thought. This is really fast. Holy moly. Look at this. Especially, you know, with these windows, you can see a lot. This is actually quite a fun plane to fly, indeed. I would not really, uh, as expected, obviously, most of these switches, actually all of these switches works. Oh, this is not a switch here, is it? That's a uh, light. But <laughs> actually, everything worked, which is great. I mean, very simple of a plane, and I mean, at least that works, okay? Let's set the fuel selector to right. Come on. There we go. Fuel selector works too. This is basically just as pro level as an A380 plane for sure. But what I do not like is this carpet. That's the ugliest color I've ever seen in any plane. But that's another story. I would only, you know, expect to see this somewhere uh, in like a Soviet plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah but what else do they say about this plane? It's just all that is to it. For 23 Australian dollars, Orbex have faithfully recreated the aircraft with a high level of model and texture detail. Okay. All right, let's uh, go ahead and take this a bit further on to a little test drive here. Let's go ahead and land it here at Cochevel Airport. Um, see if the flaps work too. I mean, I do expect that for 15 bucks and they do work, everybody. I'm not quite sure. This is, of course, a very exciting plane judging from the design. I mean, we've never seen this constellation before, really. I mean, I mean, just look at the cockpit. What the hell is wrong with it? But as exciting this plane is, it's also quite boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not very that much of an exciting add-on. Let's go ahead and land this little plane here. I mean, it's definitely beautiful to have th these views here, for sure. But I think flying this plane in real life is probably a little bit more fun. Yeah, let's come in for a landing, see if this is even gonna work at all. I mean, what this plane can apparently do is land on pretty short runways. Let's go ahead and see if this plane lands here nicely at Courchevel too. Here we go. This shouldn't be a problem at all, actually. Here we go, come on. Touchdown. Okay, that's not been particularly smooth, I'm sorry. <laughs> the main is that all that we can say about this British light aircraft intended as a low-cost alternative to helicopters. Is it that much cheaper than helicopters? I mean, we have just bought an add-on for it, but maybe we can, we can buy a real plane for 23 Australian dollars. I mean, this... Okay, let me check the pricing here. Is there any information I can find on this aircraft about pricing and buying it? No, this is actually the official website here. It doesn't really say anything. 
We'll come back to Swiss Air One. I mean, what we should not forget about this plane for sure is that it's from 1979, so we're 40 years old now for sure. Uh, so this is interesting. What is this one now? Ballast position. What does that mean? Ball is that okay? That's interesting. Never had that one before in a plane like this, but I'm pretty sure this is not that unfragile of a plane. I mean, look at how how modern it really looks. Again, 1979. It doesn't look that old, does it? And uh, that's that's great to see when it came out 10 years after the Concorde, which also doesn't look particularly old. All right, I do want to try landing this plane, of course, on the shortest runway on this planet with 300 meters here. Uh, but flying at a speed of 75 knots actually is, um, I mean, this is probably super easy, right? Let's uh, check out how this landing is going to go. Even though we do have some winds here, what's definitely interesting always to check out is um, what kind of winds a plane can handle and we do have quite some winds here indeed so this could be interesting to find out this is actually with live weather turned on the sea is a little rough down there too so i'm guessing this is a bit of a challenging approach now oh wait okay we're coming up for a landing we shall not go around it's like being inside of a glider airplane okay let's come in oh we're a little fast all right let's not force it get the plane get it down god damn it Okay, come on. Oh, damn. That's been probably the heaviest crosswind this plane has ever flown in. Oh, no. Uh, too much crosswind for sure. Holy moly. That was almost a, mm, a runway excursion, as they would say. Now, this actually worked out, didn't it? Now, I do want to test out, of course, as always, the actual add-on capabilities of this add-on. And I mean that as in, uh, can you open the doors, for example? Opening doors is very important. Okay, this door doesn't... Uh, nothing opens here, that's great. Does the fire extinguisher work? I need any little Easter egg or anything. Uh, does this work? Oh! Aha! I'm just stupid. So the door works fine, apparently. That uh, took me a while to notice. Alright! Now there is one interesting version here included into the add-on of this plane. You may see this right now here. There's a camera here. This may or may not generally be me the most mod boring add-on model. I mean, it is not that exciting of a plane from when it comes to features or anything. I mean, what is there to add? This is still a 15-year-old model still, after all. Let's come and take off the scrap. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to Wizards 1. See, this cross one really is not a... Damn. Okay, not really that of a good crosswindy plane, especially that landing didn't work out either, did it? Nothing works. Yeah, I mean, this is as ugly this plane is. You know, sometimes with planes, it's not only about the looks, of course, right? The looks is the only interesting part about this plane. Let's see if we can actually take off. We're at Lukla here with live weather turned on. This airport is literally rated as the most dangerous airport on the planet. All right. That's pretty good takeoff, I think. Do I recommend the Orbex 15 euro Edge Optica? Yeah, if you want it. The, 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 I, I, honestly, after this video, I will probably never use it again. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Laird, Lama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.